Hello everyone, Mahindra here. Uh, welcome to the part one of Podidio Automation Testing Mini Web Series. Uh, this web series aims at uh, making you understand the concepts of automation testing, uh, automation testing tools available in the market, and uh, coded your automation tool in free. Uh, in this web series, we'll be learning how to record a test script, how to write a test script, uh, how to execute the recorded test scripts and uh, how to develop an automation framework uh, which will be very useful in your regression testing. Uh, I'll also explain you why we are selecting Coded UI and other than the uh, 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 available tools in the market. Uh, before we dig deep into Coded UI automation, uh, firstly I would like to explain you what is automation testing and uh, uh, what are the tools uh, which are available in the market. Uh, uh, here I'm assuming uh, that the audience either comprises of uh, manual testers or uh, uh, are aware about the concepts of uh, manual testing. So if you're not aware about these concepts, uh, I would recommend you to go, uh, to go to Google and search, learn what is testing so that, it, uh, so that this mini web series will benefit you most. So uh, let's start. Uh, before we understand uh, automation testing and the tools, uh, it's essential to understand uh, why automation testing is needed. Uh, when we have manual testing available, we have uh, manual testers available, and uh, manual testers are much better than uh, uh, are much better in testing than the automation testing scripts. So, why exactly uh, do we need automation testing? Uh, uh, let's first understand what is manual testing. Uh, in manual testing, a tester will go through each and every st uh, each and every test case and will test the application functionality. Uh, uh, this process is cumbersome. Uh, it requires a lot of time, and uh, each and every test case has to be uh, uh, performed by the tester. So uh, this uh, this kind of testing is feasible and recommended during a fresh when fresh code is deployed uh, by the dev team in the test environment. Uh, but uh, when you want to check, uh, uh, when you want to check uh, what happens to the other part of the uh, uh, other part of the website, uh, uh, are there any impacts of the uh, are, are there any impacts of the new code on the existing functionality? Uh, we carry out a regression testing. Uh, you guys must be aware about regression testing. Uh, we do it in our SIT phases. Uh, in regression testing, a tester will execute all the test cases uh, uh, previously executed uh, and will check that there are, are there any implications uh, of the new code on the existing functionality of the application. Uh, this process again is very cumbersome and uh, it's very time consuming. It's repetitive and it's prone to manual errors. Uh, if you're an agile model, uh, you cannot afford to lose this precious amount of time in regression testing because uh, it's uh, it's already tested we just want to make sure that uh, there are no uh, impact on the existing functionality uh, so if someone else can do this uh, this part for us it would be great uh, so this led to the need of automation we le uh, we let a framework uh, or a tool like qtp coded ui do this for us and save us a lot of time uh, and of course going through all the test cases again and again will bring fatigue to the manual tester in that case uh, automation testing will help uh, automation testing will uh, bring results which are way too accurate so uh, if you are a manual tester looking for uh, reasons whether you should uh, implement automation testing in your uh, for your application uh, the first and foremost thing is to see uh, whether are you in the agile model or uh, what kind of model are you using if you are in an agile model it's highly recommended to go for automation testing uh, so now that you understand, uh, let's start. Uh, let me give you a brief about the other uh, automation testing tools available in the market. Let's begin with Coded UI. Uh, Coded UI is a relatively new automation tool in the software market. Uh, it was made available as the part of Visual Studio 2010 update. Uh, since then, it has undergone a lot of enhancements, and its new version has been released as part of Visual Studio 2013. Uh, Coded UI automation tool is supported by high-level programming languages such as C Sharp and Visual Basic .NET. Uh, in this web series, we will be learning uh, in depth the concepts of Coded UI, 
how to write a script, uh, how to execute the scripts, and uh, develop a framework. The next tool available in the market is Unified Functional Testing (UFT), uh, previously known as QTP. Uh, it is developed by HP and uh, came into existence in the year of 2006. Uh, it's used by big organizations and uh, uh, and it's very secure. Uh, it supports VB script, JavaScript, Visual Basic, Visual C++, and Visual Studio.net. Uh, and the most famous of them all, uh, Selenium. Uh, it came into existence in the year 2004. Uh, it was developed by Jason Higgins, and this tool is available uh, as an open source software. Uh, Selenium supports Java, C Sharp, Groovy, Perl, PHP, Python, and Ruby. So this is uh, so we conclude uh, the first part of automation testing tools and automation testing. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, please like, share, and comment. Thank you.